Alrighty, got a shot here. Going back, turning into this. This is the stepped version. Not sure if there are going to be any camera changes, but ooh, I know that's it. There is also a spline version. So looking at this, I think that works a lot better having a moving camera. I think we can slow that camera down. That's a harsh linear key right there. So definitely have you slow ramp up into that. The dog can easily be here, if not here, leading the camera and then the camera can come to stop it late and overshoot. But that's something we can easily work on later. For you to work on, you can also have something where imagine the camera is like zoomed way out. So you got the window and then all of this and that's your framing and the dog is about this big in frame. So you can just really concentrate on on the mechanics and everything else. Don't have to worry about the camera just yet. In places, I would say it feels a bit slow. This could be a tad faster on that drop. Just like generally in terms of just the feeling and the weight, even this move back for a dog this size, I would go just a bit faster, just a bit, just for the weight of it. Not that it's like, you know, like a tiny, tiny dog. It'd be super fast. At the same time, that's almost too fast. And it's probably, I'm reacting to this. I like how it starts, but then we have smaller spacing going up here and then, whoa, a big pop going to the left. And then suddenly small spacing again. So your two frames here are adding a bit too much poppiness to all of this. And then on that turn, I would try to find a way to turn him more so that the butt is here to get just, again, a cleaner silhouette so we don't have everything stacked up here. And then that jump again feels a bit slow. That landing. I don't mind the jump, to be honest. It's almost a bit poppy again, mainly because of your spacing-wise, you're moving to the right, and then we have a sudden direction change over one frame to the left, which makes this feel very light. And then you have a really big spacing pop going up here. And then I don't mind the slight change because the butt is going this way. There's a bit of a curvature in the upper body and the whole body to get a bit of this in here. But I would still try to minimize it. This gives you a lot of zigzaggy arcs there. But that landing is very soft. And it's like we're easing in and we're almost easing in onto this. It just all feels a bit too soft. So I'll cut a couple of frames out, give this a bit more weight. That being said, you provided the reference. And usually I am not a fan of using animated content for reference because it's gone through the stylization process already. So you have the reference here, but it's definitely different. You know what I mean? I mean, I know you know, <laughs> you're the one that chose it. So if I look at this here and you can play this here, I mean, it's obviously rough 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 but the general action is the same but the thing is i don't i to be honest i don't mind in this case i would still look at that actual dog in real life to get all the proper references and the weight and everything because that's my concern is that if you look at something like that that's already stylized and in some parts definitely light Obviously, it's still well animated, but I'm looking at this being more realistic looking, you know what I mean, in terms of just the model, the texture, so the feel of it is not going to be as stylized as this already visually. So this needs to feel more realistic, to me at least, subjectively. If you look at this turn, there's a turn, and then bam, it goes straight into fast movement. There's not enough ramp up in terms of weight. If you want to look at this in a realistic way, I'm not saying this in terms of a 2D animation. I love this though. That a nice lean at the end with the tail. Like, you know, obviously it is tweaked for that scene. So in your case, it seems a, a generic enough action of a dog. That's, that's what I'm, I have a beagle. It's a different dog, but he does that kitchen counter goes down for sure. Does that well now, nah, but less he's a bit old, but used to do this definitely does all of this. He never really was the type of dog that would jump and catch things. But this is, you know, obviously not rare. So I feel like it's generic enough that you don't recognize that from a specific movie. Unless you just watch it and you're like, hey, I know that scene. 
At the same time, I would still look at real life reference of this dog to see all these actions. You're not going to find exactly this. You're going to have to find multiple pieces, then copy paste just to kind of see how this dog is moving, the weight of it and all that good stuff. So as an idea, I like it. I think you made some changes, but not drastic changes. So if you have something that's that's animated, that's reference, um, I would make broader changes to this just in case, you know, you, you send this somewhere and someone just watched that movie and go, oh, that's interesting. Why would you choose a stylized version as reference? Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So I think next step would be find the actual reference, real life, cut them, you know, copy paste different versions, and you got your real life reference here. And then that way you can really base this more on proper weight. Because again, that's all fine. This turn is a bit fast. This drop is a bit slow, a bit fast. This turn also stops a bit clunky. You can see the the spacing goes to the left and then bam, we go one frame to the to the right and then bam to the left again. She just needs basically needs cleanup. But then wait, why this feels really, really soft? So by finding reference, there might be something, you know, a bit more specific and different with this based in real life that makes this shot different than your 2D inspiration, if that makes sense. I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you think. If you want to just continue just up for an exercise, this is not for your reel. You just want to practice and now kind of refine this for, you know, the proper weight and all that stuff. Um, let me know. Or you want to make this into them real piece, then I would definitely push for more changes and uh, potential tweaks in terms of what the actions are doing and um, that the dog is doing. All right, let me know. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.